In this video, I would like to create a scatter plot using the hurricane data. This data is available on my profile and you're able to access that using the link in the module. This, is, has, uh, this was actually a recent article in the news that there was a claim that those storms that have female or those hurricanes that have female names actually are more likely to lead to more deaths or there is a relationship between how quote unquote female or feminine that name of a hurricane is and the number of deaths. In this particular data set we have lots of information. We have the year of the hurricane, the name, uh, and then this third column is called the, I guess they called it the feminine index. So from a scale I think of 1 to 11, I think if we see 11, they rated how feminine the name was. So something like Bob or David, those are very low on the scale, or something like Belle or up here, Camille, Gladys, Celia, those are higher values. And Ginger, obviously, here's a 10. So we look at the ratings of these names and how feminine they are, and we want to see if there's a relationship between that and the deaths, so all deaths. To look at that, if we want to compare two quantitative data sets or two quantitative variables, what we can look at is a scatter plot. Scatter plots allow us to determine whether or not there is a relationship between two quantitative variables. So we're going to come back to scatter plots later in the course, but I still want to show you whether or not or how to use st uh, StackCrunch to create one. So here, if we go to graph, scatter plot, and what we want to do is to choose which we want on the x-axis, which is the horizontal, and the y, which is the vertical. And what we want to see is we want to know if the deaths are dependent on the, the feminine index or that feminine scale. So we're going to have the x column, the independent variable. We're going to have that be the index for the names. And the y column is going to be the deaths and we want to see whether or not there is a relationship. We're not going to put it anywhere, we're not going to group by anything, we're not going to label anything. It's just looking at these two particular variables on the same graph. Hit compute, and here we go. We can see on the x-axis is the feminine name index, and that's really what they called it, and then the deaths. So if we look, if we click on this value here, I, don't, I guess it's not selecting. Oh, there we go. Then you can actually, if you select that, you can scan through the data to find out which one it was. So this data point here was Hurricane um, Camille here in 1969. And if you look at the number of deaths, there were 256. So we're not going to answer the question right now whether or not there appears to be a relationship. We can just kind of see whether or not, and what we want to see is if there's a pattern or if it's very scattered. And that's what scatter plots allow us to do, to see whether or not there is a linear relationship, is there a line that goes up, and that's what we would kind of expect if, we, if there's going to be a relationship. That's not the only thing that we're going to be using in the future modules. We will get to that. But that's how you create a scatter plot in StackCrunch.